Hi, Perlila. Happy to see you again. Yeah. I'm really happy to see you because you have such an energy, uh, such an amazing woman. I could say exactly the same about you. Huh? <laughs> you are too kind, too kind of you. But I, I know that you, you could live your passion for, for ski in the best way because you, you are a great winner. You, you won everything that is to win. Yeah, I, I was uh, very lucky in my career. You know, I, I started actually when I was seven years old. Uh, I started uh, to do uh, athletics. Uh, because my father uh, was an uh, athlete uh, runner yeah, when, he, when he was younger. So me and my sister went there to do athletics. And uh, she was much better than me because she's two years older, obviously, you know, it, it's uh, naturally. And I was so angry that she was much <laughs> faster than I was. So there and then, when I was seven years old, yeah. I, I sensed that, okay, I want to be the best in the world someday. But I didn't know that it was going to be skiing because yeah. I started, as I said, but athletics. But you already had that in your blood already, yeah. to win something, exactly. to go so over was, your yeah, yeah. It was always sport. And I quite often get that question now. If, if you wouldn't have done skiing, what would you have done? Yeah. And I said, some other sport. Because it was always uh, sport, sport, sport. And I'm very happy that it was because I think it, uh, it teaches you lots of values. Sure. Uh, from sports and it's important. Yeah. Which values, in your opinion? Uh, you know, uh, sport is a universe, universal language. You know, yeah. uh, it doesn't matter if you're from Sweden or South Africa or Japan sure. or USA. You know, the same rules applies yeah. for everybody. Um, and you don't have to speak the same language. You know, when you're at the field of play, you know uh, what to do and how to react, you know, because the same rules apply. And, and I like that. It is friendship. Friendship, yeah. yeah. And, and with no barriers, because often uh, if you don't speak the uh, same language, yes. there is a barrier. But with the sport, you can go beside that barrier. And, uh, uh, and it's I not think also anymore. that the first competition must be, you know, against yourself. You compete with yourself first, you know, to go at the limit. At of course, goal. yeah. That's one truth. But of course, as an, uh, a top athlete, uh, I would lie if I didn't tell you that when I came, so you're a killer. <laughs> you know, I think everybody, if you ask somebody and say, yeah, I only competed for myself, yeah. that's uh, not the truth now. Because of course you come into the field of play and when I was uh, starting to get better and better in skiing, the best skier was then uh, Verena Schneider from uh, Switzerland. Yeah. And you know, I, I dreamt of one day to beat her uh, on the field of play, you know, and, and I was dreaming many, many times. And one day I was there, so of course yeah. that was a force also from inside yeah. that to be better than the ones that are, were the best at the time. To so, fight yeah, all to the fight time. Always, and that of course brings the sport forward. Yeah. And also I, I think the quality is the concentration, you know, to have such an, a high level of concentration leads you from the beginning to the end of the race without mistakes. Yeah, and that, that is something that you have to learn as well, yeah. uh, how to concentrate, because uh, first you are very nervous uh, and Obviously. yeah, uh, in the competition, and then you learn, okay, to be that uh, nervous is not good. I need to bring down uh, that level a little bit. So the more you race, the more you compete, the yeah. more you learn about yourself sure. and, and how to prepare yourself the, in the best way. But I suppose you had that as well in, in your dancing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. You know, Dancing is a sport, uh, speaking about the athletic side. Yes. So I think that we understand each other very well because in fact, our days were exactly the same. You know, yeah. Training, discipline, sacrifices, be the best, you know, go over your limits. Yeah. But, but but interesting that you say sacrifices. Do you really feel like you sacrificed something when you were dancing? The first thing is the passion. Yeah. So you, you do the sacrifices without thinking you are doing a sacrifice. But when I saw the, the life of maybe other girls, you know, they, they could maybe have a easier life than what I think we suppose we had, you know. So we had other experiences, maybe more rich, you know, but uh, you have to take care about, you know, you cannot go out in the evening, you mustn't eat that or yeah. this. You, you have to, to train even when you have a pain, you know, so you have to. But whenever I get that question from a journalist, I, I, I tend to say, but you know, it's, it's not the sacrifice because it was 
a choice. I made a choice Choo, to not go there, sacrifice. but to go there yeah. instead. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I don't really like the word sacrifice You're because right. in my eyes and ears, you know, it sounds uh, negative. Yeah. And for me, I, I don't have any regrets yeah. in my career. That, yeah, that I me, choose me too, to I, I go to bed early yeah, instead of yeah. going out to a yeah, discotheque sure. or whatever, you know. Yeah, I, it, 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 it was a choice. A, yeah. Yeah. It's a choice, a choice of life, of yeah, passion. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And uh, so all these values, you know, that uh, you, you, uh, you had thanks to sport, you know. Nowadays, how do you transmit these values? How do you transmit your experience? How do you fight for a better world? Yeah. Uh, all these values that you learn from sport, of course, uh, sometimes it could be difficult to, to do a transition into normal life after yeah. your sport career. Uh, but I, I was lucky enough to start working for television, for example. Yeah. Uh, and I think that was a very good transition for me uh, after stopping my career. I was able to be a part of the, the skiing world still and I, I gave, I'm always giving back to sport in that sense that I now sit in front of the television, I explain for people uh, why are these uh, skiers skiing yeah. fast and why are they not skiing fast? And, and I give back, yeah, exactly. And I give back in that sense. Yes. And in in another sense, I work uh, a lot of uh, with the International Ski Federation. I am in the World Olympian Association. I'm in, in lots of these organizations um, where I don't get paid, but I give back to sport and I teach what I have learned in sport to younger generations uh, coming up. Yeah, so that's important. it's really important. So you are really a, an example, and th that's why. You will be awarded tomorrow with the World Sports Legends <laughs> Award because you are an example. And so now we have to go downhill, maybe. That's a good idea. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Am I good? A <laughs> mm, little bit deeper. <laughs> deeper, okay. <laughs> good enough. I have a good teacher. <laughs>